guys, Susie Von Slaughter here, and you're watching The Horror Show, and I'm with the one and only Mr. Danny Trejo. How are you, sir? Wow, the one and only? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm fine, thank you. I'm a huge fan, as you can probably tell. What type of movie is like your favorite that you've done? Like horror, thriller, family, action, like what? I love, I, I love horror movies, first of all. And I love action movies, those two. Really, drama, you know, it's just, eh. comedy's fun, you know, but for me it's either horror or action. Because horror movies have action in them, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you get a double whammy. Right. Well, what about ones that you've been personally a part of? From dusk to dawn. Yeah, yeah, I still love that. Actually, people don't remember, but Robert Rodriguez actually started the vampire zombie craze with From Dust to Dawn. When th that came out, it's like all of a sudden people started making, you know, zombie movies and then action. You know, there ain't nothing more action than Machete. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's absolutely right. So, what would you say is your favorite part of the acting process? Just being on the set. I mean, just I I I love everything there is to do about making movies, you know, and uh, uh, but it's just being on the set. I, I love what I do. So I'm really blessed to be able to do what I love. What would you say is your least favorite? A movie, a least favorite? It was like a drama, you mm -hmm. know. It's funny. I did a movie called Sherry Baby that was an amazing, it was a great movie and everybody, but it, it was drama, it was heart-wrenching, and it was like, you know, God, it was tough to do. You right, know? like put, probably like putting yourself in that yeah, position, yeah, like trying to put you know, yourself in mindset. To, like Sherry Baby was was uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, right? Unbelievable, underrated actress, right? She's, and for Sherry Baby, she played a drug addict that just got out of prison and was used and abused, and everybody took advantage of her, and and uh, and she ended up whoring, and 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 I was like her buddy, you know, instead of me being the bad guy. For once, I was like the savior, good guy, helper. And mm -hmm. I had to give her a bath and not look lustful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You understand that mindset. Yeah. Turn it off. You know, Turn so it off. It was tough going to places where you're, you know, oh, man, I even hate, I saw start crying. When I think about, it, like, thinking, okay, if my daughter comes home and been out and just, you know, Ah, okay, yeah. okay, we won't go there. Yeah, we, we kill baby. You're badass, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh okay, um, so do you have anything coming up next in the works well, for you? Well, I've got Death Race 4 coming up. Okay. I'm getting ready to do a Western. I don't know what the name of it, but I'm getting ready to do a Western. I did a Dodge commercial. Uh, get my cocos, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I'm just having a blast. I, I, I've been doing a lot with my restaurant. You know, I have a restaurant on La Brea oh, in I Los Angeles. Yeah, and it's been kicking ass, you know. So we've had people here that have said, hey, man, we went to your restaurant. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. Where is that located? Cause... It's right on La Brea between Pico and Olympic. It's called Trails Tacos. There you and go. In a month, we're going to put another one on uh, Coenga between Hollywood and Sunset, right on Selma, right nightlife all night. Oh, man, that's... I want to go with trays. I love tacos. I'm all about You've this. Got, you know, because like in the film, especially in the entertainment field, there's like nine or ten of you that want to go out to dinner, and, and inevitably somebody goes, well, you know, I, I'm vegan or oh, yeah. I'm gluten free. So we got every we were, we're gluten free. We have vet, we're vegetarian friendly. We have uh, uh, yeah, just, it's just we just made something for everybody. You know, so, so the whole group can come and, and nobody's left out. Well, I'm not picky. I love food in or too. around my mouth. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm all about this. That's how this got started. So tell me, if Machete had to go against one horror icon, who do you think it would be? Wow. Who was that, <laughs> who was that guy with all the pins in his head? Pinhead. Pinhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember he had that thing? <laughs> he was bad. Machete and Pinhead. Can but we make this one real? Of the reasons Somebody once asked me, uh, me and Robert Rodriguez were, they said, why weren't you in the Expendables? And, and uh, Robert goes, because Machete's not Expendable. Oh, <laughs> yeah. snap. Oh, snap. Drop the mic, bang. I'm just going to say, between you and Chuck Norris, I pick you. I love Zenny Chuck. <laughs> I love Chuck Norris. You're my Chuck Norris. I did, I did a... I did a movie with Chuck, right? And he's not that tall. He's like, he's kind of, he's a really nice guy. 
And I'm thinking, well, you know, he don't look so tough. Then I see him jump around, spin, and kick a bag. Ah, hell, Mr. Norris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your time. And um, if someone wants to keep up to date with your work, where could they go? DannyTrejo.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, if you want to see what he's doing next, go to DannyTrejo.com. Yeah, thank you the so original. Much. All right. <laughs> the only. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. And remember, guys, stay scared.